What's going on guys? So I've looked at a few different ways to improve the quality of my videos. So right now I'm using just a very bare bones, no microphone, no lighting, just what I have in my bedroom. This is kind of what you see. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the lighting in the room just a little bit. Is that the first thing I want to do? Yeah, I think that's it. So let me do that real quick. now uh so one thing that you should notice is that it's less grainy the 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 view of uh, the video so this is kind of where i'm settling for light for now i don't really like it so much it's a little too dark in the background maybe i can fix that while editing but we'll see so yeah i don't know i guess it's fine but yeah, so that's that's kind of the idea, is I wanted to make the lighting a little better and then I also want to improve the sound quality. So let's go ahead and get to that. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to look at the audio. I want to look at the audio that we're working with for the videos. The lighting's kind of bad right now because I'm not facing the normal direction. Yeah, so I kind of wanted to show you what I do for audio, what I've found that works for my audio at least. And uh, let's see, where are we at? I want to go to this. Alright, does that take me out of it? Okay, then. Um. Alright, so. One thing that you want to do when you're uh, trying to fix your audio or record audio in DaVinci Resolve is one, you have to have an external mic uh, that you can use. So you go to No Input uh, over here for the audio channel, click Input. You're going to uh, select these two microphones. I, I don't know why there's two. I think there's two different settings on this microphone, so maybe that's what it is. But you want to patch those to the audio channels, the left and the right. And once you've done that, you can start recording here. And what else do I do? I gotta remember the process. I'm not perfect at this yet. I have, I just started working with this the other day. So, uh, it's gonna be weird because I got this playing in my head now. So this is kind of the audio with the, the mic. Give me a quick second to sort this out real quick. So this is, it's the directional. It basically says only uh, record sound from this direction. Uh, I think it sounds a bit tinny. Sorry about that. So if you switch over to the um, all encompassing, like just record sound from all angles, it gives you, at least for this particular microphone, gives you a much broader range. So I like that. But then what I do notice is it's a bit quieter. So you just boost your audio levels a bit. 
right? Post on the main channel and then the on the audio channel itself. But that does add a bit of noise. So what I like to do is go to noise reduction and just use auto speech mode. Let me do a quick thing before I do, do any changes. Uh, all right, so now I'm recording at DaVinci Resolve itself uh, instead of just the Windows recorder. So if I hit auto speech mode, you can hear that a lot of the noise disappears. And I kind of like to do a little bit of redundancy and add another noise reduction in the main channel. And that further removes the audio or the noise in the audio. So that's kind of what I've been doing with that at least. So that's kind of cool. I've learned a couple of different things in the last couple of days that I just kind of wanted to share with you. We'll see how that goes with uh, when I get everything all together. That's one thing about doing editing videos about what you're editing. Like how do you edit? That's a hard thing to explain because you, you basically have to do the editing twice or, you know, I basically this, the recording, the audio works nicely because I only, I can do one recording, but if I'm doing a video about how do I edit, then I have to like, it's like video editing inception and it becomes a nightmare because, well, you have to include what you edited, uh, which means that you're going to add more to at the end. I still might end up doing a little bit of a, uh, a recording that I will throw in at the end. Now that I know that I, I can record on DaVinci Resolve and I also can record on my computer, just the screen, maybe I can show you a little bit of the color grading that'll do for the, the videos itself. But yeah, I think, thought this might be a little bit of an interesting thing for you guys to see uh, just the difference between just a few different settings here and there. Uh, between lighting and just playing around with the microphone to see if you can't get rid of some of the humming. Usually when I'm doing the videos, I, I plug the microphone directly into the camera, which is nice because then all the audio is recorded at the same place. You don't have to do any audio syncing. That's another thing that you end up having to do uh, and when you're recording separately. Now, right, but what was I saying? I was saying um, the lighting is, is different which gives you a, a much broader, uh, it, well, it, it eliminates the noise, the graininess and the noise of the image. And then I also found that I could eliminate a lot of the noise in uh, my just audio by recording directly into my editing software and then just kind of matching up the audio in the end. So with that being said, I'm gonna jump into the color grading a little bit and see if I can explain a little bit about that things I've learned. I'm not an expert. I don't think I, 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 if anybody sees this, that's, you know, actually trained in doing these things or whatever, <laughs> they are probably cringing, but, um, what can you do? What can you do? So I'm going to go ahead and pop this video right into uh, DaVinci Resolve and do a little bit of Video Inception. <laughs> All right. Okay, so here I am. I've got this Adventures All Open. I'm just gonna kind of go over some of the basic stuff that I normally do. Talk about S curves here. S curve. So basically, when you're playing around with curves, you can change the what what um, parts of your range get um, focused and. Oftentimes, you know, at least from what I've seen, is S curves are really nice to add, add a little bit more contrast to your uh, videos. So I don't really want to spend too much time on that. So I'm going to move on to the next bit right now, uh, which would be the color wheel. I really, so I already have a couple of presets made that I'm just going to throw on this, but I figured I'd show you some of the stuff that I'm using for now. All right, but I'm going to jump to the color wheels real quick. All right, so here's the color wheels. You can change uh, what this is basically another way of uh, emphasizing different parts of your picture. So you can change what colors are emphasized. You can change the tones. You can get a hotter or colder look. Uh, usually my room's a little green for some reason. I'm assuming it's I assume it's part of the lamp that I have in the background, but 
it could be something else. So I use those to I use these wheels to correct the greenness out of my room. So yeah, basically I'm just going to apply a couple of presets that I've already made to this, and you'll see that probably somewhere throughout the video. Okay, so I thought I'd take the time to like do a before and after here. So where I started the video, no microphone, no lighting, just what I have in my bedroom. This is kind of what you see to what I have for the final product. The lighting is, is different. It eliminates the noise, the graininess and the noise of the image. And then I also found that I could eliminate a lot of the noise in uh, my just audio. All right, and that's all I have for you guys today. Um, thanks for sticking around. Uh, hopefully it was interesting. Um, see you guys in the next one. Right, so I'm doing